Hey y'all, welcome to another Share More Projects with Friends. This is the card that I wanted to share in this video. It's a recent um, wedding card that I created. I did share this on my Instagram and I'll leave the file number and all the information for this project down below. For the file, it cuts out this black piece for the suit. It also cuts out the bow tie. It cuts out the silhouette for the lady and her dress. And it also cuts out these two back pieces that I use for the bouquet. This is a top folding A2 card and I have not finished out the inside, although I do have something that I wanna share that I have in mind. For the buttons on the shirt, I used some Wanna Scrap Bling and I got that um, from Shantae and she is Simply Shantae here on YouTube. For the necklace on the lady, I used some gemstones. These are some pearl flourishes and these are by Paper Studio. I just used the piece that kind of rounded with the two large pieces in the center. For the bouquet, I used these two pieces that came with the file and then I used some of these flowers. These are the poppies and papery flowers and they're from Paper Studio. And then I also use these as well. And these have those little metal things on the back. I just cut those off. For this piece right here, the congratulations is actually a separate file. It's on another card and I'll leave that information down below. And then I cut that out using a Spellbinders die. And this is what the die looks like. And it's called Card Creator. It has four pieces. And the piece that I used looks like this. It's this large, longer piece at the top. And for the inside of the card, this is the sentiment that I have. It says, wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. And I wanna also use that same die for the inside of the card. And um, this is what that die looks like. It's that larger one. And this is how it cuts out. So that's what I wanna use for the inside of this card. At the end of this video, I will announce the winner to my last Share More Projects with Friends card kit. And this was the card that I created. And this is the kit that the winner will receive. So congratulations. For this kit, um, I'll announce the winner in two weeks when I do my next video. So for the kit, it will include the A2 side opening card base. That's 110 pound card stock. This is the back piece that cuts out for the suit. I've also included the um, dress and that cuts out with the file. And then I did two different skin tones. This is a off-white and then I did it in the craft. I've also included, this is the cut for the lapel or the collar of the suit. This is the background for the shirt. There's also these two pieces that I have for the back of the bouquet. And there are some smaller flowers that are included with this file that made this flat and I've included some of those as well in this little pack. Also with the piece to make the necklace, to make the buttons on the collar. Here's the little background pieces that cut out and I've also included the flowers in here. And then here is the tie or the bow tie for the man. And then I've included some of these um, foam adhesives there's some of these little small adhesives to pop up the tie and these were the ones that I use to pop up the sentiment and also the one layer of the bouquet. I've included two of the congratulations and if the winner wants me to cut these out just like that one, just let me know when we um, talk about um, mailing this kit out. Um, I didn't cut them already because you know some people have their own preferences as you know to doing stuff like that. And then I'll include two of these sentiments for the inside. And same thing, if you want me to use the die that I'm going to use for the inside of my card, let me know. And um, I'll go ahead and cut those out before I send it. Or I'll just cut this in half so you can cut it out how you um, prefer to do that. And I'll also include the envelope to go with the card. So I'm going to share really quickly how I put this card together. For my card, I'll be using an A2 card base that's top folding. This is how that background piece looks. And all I did was put some um, double-sided tape on there and put this down, lined it up to make sure her arm is lined up with the end of the card and also make sure the neck at the top with the top of the suit 
is also lined up with the card and it should fit in there perfectly. So after I've removed my double sided tape, I will um, use some additional adhesive and this is my Aliens Tacky Glue. Mine's not lined up perfect so I'll just trim my card base down. The next thing you want to do is put the lady's arm and the um, body on there before you put the dress on. I have some double sided tape but I'll also use some additional adhesive and it just goes right over the top of the black silhouette part. And then the next thing I did was put the dress onto the lady, also with double-sided tape and additional adhesive. And how I lined her up, I just lined the bottom of the dress with the bottom of where the card was. Then the next thing you want to do is, what I did was took these two pieces, I had the larger piece for the bouquet and then the smaller piece, and I just kind of layered them. I do have the smaller one popped up a little bit to give the bouquet some dimension. So all I did was center it where her hands was, I glued that down to the card, and then I have this little piece right here popped up on the top. The next thing I did was, these are some little pieces. I think these were supposed to be the flowers on the card. These little pieces here, I have, I think it's six of these. And I do have six of these included in the kit. What I did was just randomly place these on this top layer to give it more color in the background. And then I just randomly place the little flowers that I've also included in the kit onto the bouquet. After you get all of the flowers on the bouquet, the next thing that I did was, here's a little piece that I made for her necklace. I have the two large pieces in the center and I just did two on each side. I just kind of put it on there and cut it where I needed it. So because I've already, I already know where I need it, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut 
with two on each side. This is already um, adhesive backed, but I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more glue to the back of mine. And then I'll place this around her neck. Okay, so once you get the necklace on the lady, the next thing you wanna do is start on the gentleman's suit. So here is what the shirt piece looks like. I just have a piece of double-sided tape and I'll just glue that on. If you notice, there's some ridges here at the top. You just want to meet this up with the center piece on the little suit. So I'll just put some additional adhesive. And then I will line this up with the top of the suit right here. that creates the little suit. And what I tried to do on this card was to kind of put this piece to where it kind of popped up around the shirt so it'll give it some kind of dimension, but it didn't work very well. So I'm gonna attempt to do that with this piece. So what I did was try to put glue just around the edge of this and then try to layer it right on top of the shirt to kind of pop it up a little bit. I didn't want to have to put little adhesive foams all the way around this, but if that's something you want to do um, to give it more dimension, that would absolutely work. So I'll just try to position this as close as I can around the shirt, making sure the top lines up with the top of the card stuck in my tweezers get the little collar on can't really see it but that's how it'll look and then the next thing you want to put on is the bow tie and then the, the little buttons so for the bow tie I did already have my little pop dot or foam on the back and I'll add some additional adhesive just so it could pop up and give the man some uh, dimension so I just took my bow and just put it right at the top you can line it up with the little notch there for the bow tie but I just put mine as close as I could to the top After you get your little buttons on, the card is basically finished. You decide what sentiment you're going to put down here and what you're going to include on the inside. This is the one that I put on this first card here and I just have some little foam dots popped up and I just put that on the bottom. And I'll just put my sentiment and stuff on the inside once I decide um, if that's the die I actually want to go with. So again, this is another Sharing More Projects with Friends. And in two weeks, I'll be announcing the winner for this card kit. I'll include all the items for the flowers, the pearls, all the buttons and the sentiments and as well as the sentiment on the inside for this card kit. If you want this card kit or you're interested, just leave a comment down below. If you're not interested, that's fine as well. Um, if you're picked as the winner and you don't want the card kit, just let me know. I I'm, I'm, won't be offended. Um, I'm just doing this to kind of share some things with people who maybe don't have a cutting machine or just want to create a card like this. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good luck to everyone on this card kit here and congratulations to the winner of the card kit that I'll announce at the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.